from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA Late, and I'm back with exciting great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 today. In this recording, we'll go over that monthly stimulus check the Democrats still want you to have. And will it now be automatic in direct deposit in the four stimulus package? Then we cut to the checks themselves, and could there be more months of checks? Next, in the second part of this video, we go over the reconciliation process and what else the Democrats are putting into the four stimulus. And for the first time in this party, you're going to see it. I have all the incredible details that are breaking this morning about what is in that recon. Free food? Yes. A lot of freebies across the board. I have all the breaking news in this recording. Then in the third part of this video, we go over the all the questions you've been asking. July 15th, July 4th, the vote, the bill, the drafting, everything you've been ask, asking across the board. And I have breaking news about this as well from the GOP, from the conservative side, and also from the Democrats and the progressives. Breaking news at this afternoon's broadcast today. Then we cut to fist stimulus, which raises your benefits up based upon a new benchmark of inflation. And the consumer price index number was lifted, was uh, released this morning, and inflationary fears are definitely there. Inflation could be going bigger, and that could be a lot more money for you under fifth stimulus. It's a big afternoon. It's a big day. I'm excited for you to hear. I'm excited to be back, and we have an insane amount of breaking news. Let's get to all the details, starting right here, right now, on Afternoons LLA. Good afternoon, everybody. How you doing? It's good to be, to be back. I hope you're doing well. Hope your week has been going well. How is the weather where you are? It's been miserable here. It's just been very, very hot. You see sort of the, some of the flowers in the back have been changed because some of them are getting very uh, distressed by the heat. It's just been horrible. Um, but it's supposed to cool off here late in this week. So we have more pink, less yellow today. Uh, jump in the live chat. Tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021 today, I have just piles of news to tell you. It's just, it's overwhelming. So I'm going to see if I can get it all done in this video. We'll be going over that monthly stimulus check the Democrats still want you to have and why there will likely be more months of checks and that there will likely be automatic direct deposit payments for this as well. Then in the second, then the second half of this video, we'll be going to the reconciliation process where the four stimulus is located. And for the first time ever, you're going to see the provisions of the four stimulus. Wow, the recon is set to be released to the American public later this week, and I have some of the details of what's in there. And then we cut to the exciting details about everything you've been asking about. The vote, the bills, the dates, the bipartisan, how much has been written. I have breaking news about that from both sides of the political spectrum all in this afternoon's LA broadcast. Then we cut to fifth stimulus, which raise your benefits up. If you're on SSI, SSA, VA, RB, all my veterans, all my SSI and SSDI viewers, and that benchmark is inflation, but the consumer price index number was released today. And it's huge, huge inflationary concerns are definitely there. This means big lift for your benefits. I'll be explaining that as well. And then we cut to the tens of thousands of dollars of viewers continue to get. Viewers getting upwards of $23,000 from this channel daily. It's for your chance to get this money today as well. I'm going to show you how you can get at least five to $10,000. And this is LA, America's only 24-hour-a-day, seven days a week financial news channel in America. Live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. I'm next back with you with Evenings L8, two hours from now. And that's a new show tonight, followed by Overnight's Crypto, Evenings Crypto, and Sir Loin at 8 o'clock. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. I want you part of this channel. Hit that subscribe button. You can't miss a single minute across the board because there's literally breaking news every minute. Hit that subscribe button right now. Also, like this video. Two, 3,000 likes. Every like helps. And consider becoming a member. Let's get right into that monthly stimulus check from those Democrats. How's the bill? Senate proposal. Two different approaches and two different payments. But the question is how many months of checks. So when you look at the fourth stimulus and you're looking at the number of checks across the board, the question is, how many checks are those Democrats going to give you? 
Well, when we look at the Senate and we look at the House, there is a clear difference. House bill, pandemic plus one year, Senate proposal, July to December. Okay, let's go to the payouts. House, $1,000 a month after the first month, 2000 Senate unknown. And then we get to what word on the street is for the senators, this. OMG, deliciousness, $2,000 over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 over six months, $8,400. Now, the big issue is that the pandemic may not be over. By all accounts, the pandemic is now, now considered no longer over. And if that's the case, our view of the House plan, House bill, has now changed. Two weeks ago, we were looking at the House bill and saying, well, the pandemic may be considered over. They may just give you 12 months of checks, which is $13,000, the House bill. By all accounts, it's no longer over. It started with L.A. County saying pandemic's not over. Then Warren Buffett saying the pandemic's not over. Uh, United Airlines and all the airlines saying the pandemic's not over. States like Virginia and others saying the pandemic's not over. And now international countries as well. Ordering their em employees, their state uh, or government employees to get vaccinated or lose benefits because they say the pandemic's not over. So by all accounts, the pandemic is, at this point, not over. And if it's not over, then the House bill pays a lot more of checks than the House, than the Senate plan. Pandemic plus one year, well, here we go. House bill would pay more than 12 months of checks, which would be more than $13,000. Compare that to this and the Senate. <laughs> I think you have an opinion. Jump in the live chat right now and vote House or Senate. House or Senate, tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. I think your opinion may have changed. I know a lot of viewers' opinions have changed in the last two weeks because of where the pandemic's going over, going on, and mine has changed as well. So vote House of Senate. Tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. Who gets that fourth stimulus check? Democrats represent that everyone got a third stimulus check. We get a fourth stimulus check. Single individual, 75000 or less. Democrats represent you would get a fourth stimulus check. Married couple, 150000 or less. Democrats represent you would get a fourth stimulus check. Double it. Family of four, Democrats represent you would get a fourth stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, you would get a fourth stimulus check. The Democrats represent as well. In a new report today, there's indications that the forced stimulus check may likely come by direct deposit, automatic payment on a regular basis to ensure that people are getting the money. Fascinating news. I'll stay on top of that breaking development. The forced stimulus check is not income. It's not taxable. The forced stimulus check would be the same amount for every individual across the board. And the forced stimulus check would come monthly. <laughs> it would not come as a wave. Hey, check. <clears throat> You're trying to wave at the check again? It's just too early in the day to just be waving the check. Hey, check. How you doing? You see the check at the, at, the, at the boutique trying to put on that sweater, putting its arms in the sweater, and then its check arms gets locked in the sweater. And suddenly it's struggling to get brave. <laughs> uh, you're sort of stuck in the sweater. Yeah, it doesn't fit you. Mm, doesn't fit you. Uh, road check. It's not a road check. It's just a check with arms. Which you know, I don't care if the check is arms so long as it lands in my bank account. <laughs> The Democrats represent the fourth stimulus check would come in the month of July for the month of July with with without arms <laughs> and in the month of August for with the month of August. And they can still get it done. I'll explain that later in this video. But there you go. That is the first of your three parts of your fourth stimulus check up in 2021. In the second part, we'll be going over the reconciliation process where that forced stimulus check is located and why now we have confirmation again of my reporting. I have been telling you that the Democrats were giving you other items in the recon besides forced stimulus check. It's now been confirmed. My reporting is again confirmed as accurate. And I'll be going over a preview of some of those items. In the third part of this video, I'll be going over the items because there's so much. I mean, I really cannot go over all of them. It's just checks and checks and more checks for so many different subject matters. In the third part of this video, we'll go over all your questions. Stay to that final 15 minutes of this video. It is going to be jam-packed. It's going to have everything you've been asking for. The bill, the vote, the date, the items, the when, the how, everything you've been asking for and more, and all the breaking news about what is now in that recon for you. Additionally, you're going to see the first previews of that recon in this recording. In the second part of this video, we go to fist stimulus, which raises your benefits up a lifetime if you're a beneficiary. And we now saw surprising details this morning about the consumer price index number. It was just astronomical, which means inflation is going higher, despite the strange events of last Thursday where we thought maybe it was going lower. Oh, it's going very high. This is huge for your benefits, especially if you're a veteran or Social Security or SSI. I'm so excited for you. It's coming up in the second half of this video. But first, let's get some money. 
If you're new to this channel, this is what we do. I get you money. And you've just been doing an incredible, great job. Jump in the live chat right now and post any money you've gotten for rent, utilities, internet, uh, across the board. I have been saying that I can get you rent about $5,000, about four to six months of rent. Well, viewers have been disproving me. They have been getting $12,000 of rent, $10,000 of rent, $13,000 of rent. Post your rent right now. When I talk about utilities, I said, hey, I can get you about $300 of utilities. Viewers have been disproving that as well. $3,000, $4,000 for utilities. Post your utilities right now as well. And then when we talk about Snap, I said, well, I had some viewers get, a lot of viewers get five to $6,000. Now viewers are getting $12,000. John got $12,000 for Snap for his family of four. Nisi got $23,000 for this channel. She got $20,000 from watching my videos for rent. And then the rest was utilities, internet, and Snap. Uh, Art Sullivan got three items. Viewers are continually getting those big items, so I'm going to get that money for you right now. If you don't realize what's going on, this has started becoming a little bit like December of last year. If you're new to this channel, this is what I do. In April of last year, people were not getting their EIDL money. They weren't getting their grants or their loans. And I started this channel not to track the money because it wasn't coming. I got started this channel to help people get the money. And I got viewers $25 million of EIDL loans to save their businesses, their homes, and their employees' homes. But in the fall of 2020, we were waiting for second stimulus to pass. It had not become a law, so I got people money. We were not tracking its th second stimulus checks because it was not in the mail. I got people $250,000 of rent and other utilities. Viewers like Tyrone for his family of four in Boston got $15,000 last year and paid all his bills during the holidays. So I'm doing that for you as now, now as well. And I am so excited about you because unlike the prior times, this group, you this time, are doing astronomical numbers. So jump in the live chat and post them right now. We're going to go over different places where you can get that money right now. Get that pen and paper ready. If it must be acrylic crown, I am wearing Crayola blue today, so it is good. But Canute, it is not Casey Royal anything. <laughs> It's not Casey anything, and it's not Royals anything. <laughs> so there you go. Here we go. We're going to reach out to your city hall, your city house authority, your county hall, your county house authority, your state hall, your state house authority. Keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID or mortgage assistance because of COVID. You don't say words they don't know, like stimulus or muddle blue. They don't know muddle blue. I don't know muddle blue. <laughs> Or mobile, mobile bully. It's, that sort of sounded like mobile blue, didn't it? Uh, and they don't know teal or range of options or meatless taco. They don't know any of those things. <laughs> if you didn't watch Sir Lloyd last night, you missed it. It was it was a good episode. So there you go. Reach out to them and get that big money. Congratulations, Tim and Linda, who got that wonderful pot of money. It's wonderful. And yeah, rent is about $5,000, uh, four to six months of rent. You can also get utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners utilities. The next pot of the money is SNAP. And as I said, John got $12,000 for SNAP. But Lynn Glenn got it for herself, her son, and her mom, Gail, got it as well. What is SNAP? It is money for food. It comes from the Department of Agriculture. It is raised, uh, it is, it, you reach out to them and they get it to you. Why would you not get it? The eligibility is less than a stimulus check. So if you have bills at home, why are you paying for your food when the federal government will pay for your food? And that will alleviate, alleviate some of the bills you got around the house. So go get it. How much does it pay? A fortune. A family of four in Hawaii now gets upwards of $16,000 a year. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders. One from Biden, one from Trump that raised your benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get it. You're doing an incredible job. $15,000 for SNAP, $5,000 for rent, and we are just getting started. The next pot of the money at this 13-minute mark is the wonderful money coming back from your states. And one viewer got this two nights ago. It is the refund check due to computer error of unemployment benefits. Another viewer got $5,000 for this. Where is it landing? Direct deposit. Can you track it? Yeah. Reach out to your state and say, hey, state, where is that um, refund check due to unemployment benefits? And can you track it this time with a computer that actually works. <laughs> and then finally, the last pot of the money is the refund check coming back from IRS. If you got this as well, post in the live chat. The reason why posting in the live chat is so helpful is because one, it inspires other people to get money. If they see 10 people saying, I got rent, then they think they can go, they should go get the rent. And you could, you should, but until you see other people doing it, you don't get the sense of, wait, this is something I'm missing out on. Second, when you see someone getting two items and you didn't, get, you only got one item, then you realize, wait a second, I should get three items. Art Sullivan got three items, but some viewers may have only gotten one item. So go get the other items in this video. Third, it really updates me about the numbers. So suddenly I realize, wait a second, people are getting a lot more money than I thought. And finally, it gives people an update about routing times, especially when you talk about this 
refund check from IRS. Uh, let's go over how much, when, where, and how. Let's go over the, the amount. Let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment benefits. You pay $5,000 of total taxes, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations, you're getting back $4,000. Where? Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. When? Uh, this month. Can you track it? Yeah. About 75% of the time you can. Go to iris.gov, set up a username and password, and go in there and do a transcript search. It'll reveal stuff you never knew. It'll reveal um, stuff you didn't want to know. You wish you never heard. <laughs> It'll reveal the taxes are your file, the taxes you paid. It'll reveal, um, is, is teal really the official uh, color of the White House press corps? <laughs> It'll reveal, does the Cadillac change colors to match when the teal princess is driving it? And finally, it'll reveal the tax return you're getting uh, and the tax, the tax refund you're getting. Can we top that? We can. As we go into the second part of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 today, we have a lot of breaking news. Boy, here we go. So it was over two Wednesdays ago where the world sort of changed for four stimulus. It was what I called the split day. It's when roads and bridges were taken out of the recon and put into a bipartisan. What's going on? Before that, two Wednesdays ago, we had a very massive big recon. And that recon in there had roads and bridges. But the Democrats pulled one another. Nancy Chuck, the president, Jalapal, met with the Democrats, said, hey, would you vote for this massive recon that has roads and bridges in there? And they said no. So two Wednesdays ago, the split occurred. That split occurred in which they took roads and bridges out and shrunk the recon. It created two paths. One, all the money for you in the recon, still there. And the second path, the roads and bridges, put into something called the bipartisan, which created a two-path process, recon and bipartisan. Your money in the recon and the bipartisan in the bipartisan. <laughs> no, the roads and bridges in the bipartisan. What was the benefit of this? It was huge. Benefit number one is it made the recon now passable. We have this confirmation from a conservative print publication from a beautiful op-ed. The higher the price line was, the higher the price was for the recon, the harder it was to pass. There you go, confirmation. By allowing the Democrats to take out some of the spending from the recon put in the bipartisan roads and bridges, the overall price tag of the, price tag of the recon got smaller. Obviously, in other words, the bipartisan could make. In other words, the bipartisan made the recon passable. There you go. Sorry to set you up, Mitch. <laughs> it's just, he got set up. There's no way to say it. Uh, there was nothing to gain for the GOP. This is what the op-ed guy wrote. There was nothing to gain by the for the GOP by blessing the bipartisan because now it made an ungodly sum of money for the recon. Now passable. There you go. Well, how, what was the second benefit of this? The second benefit of this was that the Democrats now were able to, once the recon was shrunk, a, add a few more things in there that they want, and they are doing it. For over the last week, I told you they were doing it, and I told you we would see details of them doing it. Today, we have confirmation of my reporting once again. Uh, in, a new, uh, 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 in a new article released today, we have confirmation that the progressives have been adding more items back in there. And I'll have details about those items and those checks coming up for you in a second. So I had been reporting that, that Representative Elar Omar had, had been announcing that more items were adding it were going in there. We have a commitment that regardless of what happens with the bipartisan, the Congress will give us a recon that goes as far as we want. Well, that in fact does. And I'll show you in later in this recording what it did. Then Representative Richie Torres had confirmed to us that they were adding things in there. I refuse to vote for a bipartisan unless it's linked to a larger recon. And he had announced he's adding in there housing. You're going to see later in this recording, housing's not mentioned in there. But that's why I don't have an exhaustive list. I just have, a, you know, a list that's 10 pages long. And that's just the start of it. And we have the progressives meeting with the White House daily telling the White House about what they want to put in there. And as I just said to you, that is now confirmed. I have that confirmation. So that's why you really want to stay with this channel. I, I tell you things, you know, two weeks before they happen, and then they happen. So Representative Brian Schatz and Jalapal, even two weeks before that, were protecting the recon, with the White House saying the progressive priorities in the recon were its own priorities. Now, here's what's important for you to understand, is what a recon is. Who writes it? Who votes on it? How is it done? Let me go over all the details. A reconciliation in this case is written by Democrats, for Democrats, and to be passed by Democrats. GOP just vote against it. They have nothing involved with at all with the writing or anything. Who actually writes the recon? The recon is written by subcommittees in the House as the lead author, with the Senate subcommittees as the sort of the oversight. They're sort of watching them from the side. 
Subcommittees of the House are delegated different subject matters under the Constitution because that's what they're created for. For example, House Ways and Means Committee is responsible for stimulus checks. They're responsible for unemployment benefits. Those are their dominions. Things like um, education or, or labor uh, are, are done by another subcommittee. When those subcommittees are writing things, there's nothing in the Constitution that requires a, an element of transparency. They don't have to show you what they're writing. They have to show you what they're writing or adding or taking out. They don't have to show you what they're voting on. In fact, when they're done, it's done. And it's done in that subcommittee. And let's say we had 10 subcommittees with 10 pages finished. Then all they do is just send it up to Nancy and she combines the 10 pages from those 10 subcommittees and has 100 pages. And then you have a House bill. So we don't have an element of transparency until it happens. We do have news reporting. And the news reporting sometimes helps, but we don't have it until the final end. And there you go. So what's important to understand is that Economic data from last week signaled that they really need to add certain things in there. As we go into Thursday this week, we're going to be looking at the new jobless claims number. Last week, it was horrible. And that signals that these House subcommittees, especially House Ways and Means, should be putting unemployment benefits in there, extension of PUA, PUC, FPUC, because the new jobless claims number last Thursday was awful. It really was. Now, remember, this is the number of people who had a job throughout 2020, had that same job all this year. They've been working for a year and a half. They never stopped working during the pandemic. But then suddenly they came into work a week ago and they were laid off. And how many of them were there? 373,000, horrible number. Wall Street expected 350,000. So it's just an awful number. You're going to see later in this uh, report, economic data is just all over the place. China thinks its economy is slowing in the month of June. Many people thought this economy is slowing in the month of June. So you need these other items in there. These subcommittees can add those items in there. They can also take items out at any time. So that's why you have to push Purple Power. You need to push because those legislators want to hear from you. If you think they need unemployment, FPUC, PUA, student loan debt forgiveness, mortgage forbearance, eviction moratorium, multiple stimulus checks, automatic receipt of stimulus checks, you need to push. These people can put things in there. And they can also take them out at any time. So don't be a donut guy about anything like this. All right. So how do we get to this wonderful spot? We got to this wonderful spot from Jalapal. Jalapal had written a letter to Schumer about a week, two weeks ago, saying, Chuck, call the vote. Now, that letter was signed by 12 House Democrats, who among the 100-plus House Democrats, yeah, you heard me right, 100-plus, who said we're going to put monthly stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package. Wow. Can we top that? We can as a seven members of the House Ways and Means subcommittee, yeah, the one I just mentioned, wrote the president a letter a week, about a week ago saying we're going to be putting monthly fourth stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package. Now, again, these are the people on the subcommittee that's responsible for writing stimulus checks. And they wrote the president a letter saying we're putting it in there. They wrote your third stimulus recon check, and they represent their writing your fifth stimulus recon check as well. Can we top that? We can. As just days ago, the final official signature occurred for that global international corporate tax rate minimum. We saw a ceremonial signing three weeks earlier, but that was just ceremonial. It's now official. It's huge because now it makes the Force Stimulus Recon easier to pass. It's written by supporting, Force Stimulus Recon is paid for by raising corporate taxes. But now it's easier to write it, one, because you don't need international corporate taxes in there. Second, it's easier to call the vote because you have to talk about this provision about international corporate taxes. It's taken by, it's taken by, it's taken, uh, oh, it, it's solved by this international agreement. Number three, you don't, it'll, it's, it's easier to vote on. And finally, number four, it's easier to pass because now with that international agreement about taxes no longer needed in the recon, it's easier to call for a vote and anchor to the finish line. Wow. Can we top that? We can. As we go into the final 15 minutes of this video, which is absolutely going to be jam-packed, there is literally, yeah, you see how many pages of notes? I think that's like 12 pages of notes. Let's see if I can get through 12 pages of notes in 15 minutes. I don't know if I can. I'm going to try. There's so much breaking news today. I'm going to be revealing for the first time what's in that recon. In addition to your stimulus, I'll be going over what's happening with this stimulus with the CPI this morning. More benefits, more benefits. It's getting exciting. Uh, but something even more wonderful is the volunteers. If you need help with that rent, utilities, internet, or SNAP, then reach out to the volunteers.
How do you find them? Go to the description, go in the description of this video. You'll see an emoji of a house. Next to that emoji of a house is a link to the community page. That community page sends you to a page with pictures and kitty cats. Reach out to the volunteers. They're separated from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, and uh, and Twitter, and reach out to them. They'll help you get rent, utilities, internet, and SNAP, uh, and mortgage assistance and homeowners utilities as well. They can't um, tell you, is muddle blue or really a color? They cannot share you some Crayola crowns of KC Royals. I mean, they're forbidden to. I mean, STL Cardinal Red, they can, but not KC Royals. <laughs> and they cannot give you a drive in the Cadillac. But other than that, they can help you with everything else. I'll be back in 60 seconds with exciting big news. Boy, it's all breaking on this afternoon's LA. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on Alex. And the excitement coming continues right now on LA with big details on this afternoon's LA broadcast. I got more details that you have never seen about what is in that recon. For the first time ever, I'm going to show you the provisions of the recon. And it's getting very exciting. Then we cut to fist stimulus with the raising up of your benefits lifetime and why that consumer price index number this morning was higher than expected. So with that, subscribe. 4,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Also, like this video. Every like really helps in the algorithm rankings. And consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat and pinned comment. Coming up next is Evening's LA. Stay on this video. will automatically take you there. It's a new show tonight. And then coming up after that is Overnight's Crypto, followed by Sir Loin. Boy, last night's show was good. So make sure you subscribe and like this video. Let's get right to Fist Stimulus. Fist Stimulus um, really surprised people today with a big shocker. Now, I know over the weekend you heard about Commissioner Saul being fired by Social Security Administration. I've already explained to you that his firing has nothing to do with the raising of up of benefits under Fist Stimulus. Under Fist Stimulus, your benefits limits will be raised, then the inflationary benchmark will be applied, asset limit removed, and then income exclusion and marriage penalty removed. But what's the real big news for Fist Stimulus today? It's the Consumer Price Index number. Consumer Price Index number, which if you've been with this channel for over a year, you've heard that in terminology before. And that number came in and it was enormous. The Consumer Price Index number that came in this morning was huge. And it was so big that there was basically new thoughts that um, the inflation rate is going very high. It is going very high. Um, how big was that inflation, that CPI this morning? Well, the CPI came in and consumer price increased 5.4% from June from a year ago. The highest monthly rise of CPI since August 2008. I mean, that's almost 20 years. Um, food, energy, inflation increased by 4.5, the largest increase since 1991. Uh, yeah, that's like 30-something years. Used car prices um, went through the roof. And now there's new reports that this is not temporary. Um, Cliff Hodge, CEO at Cornerstone Wealth, says the wet height, red hot June CPI has the market jitters. Moving forward, we expect inflation numbers to begin to cool off. 
but used car prices soared 45%. Jay Powell, your head of the Federal Reserve, he's testifying in Congress Wednesday and Thursday this week. Meantime, um, some are worried that there's a global bubble occurring. And there's also new concerns that inflationary concerns that many retirees may run out of money because of all this enormous inflation. So this is why this, this stimulus is so important. Well, how does this work? First, they're going to raise your benefits up a lifetime. Who's you? You. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits, and multiple beneficiaries, or um, casino benefits. Then they'll apply the new benchmark. That new benchmark is inflation. is applied at the end of this year for next year's benefits. And as they apply it, your benefits step up. But we had heard from Jay Powell two weeks ago, last time he testified before Congress, that see, that the inflation rate is going to reach its highest price point in December. I'm sticking with that. I had reported to you that Jeremy Siegel, you know, a month ago said inflation may reach 20% in December. Then I said to you a lot of reports say about 10%. Then I said last week some reports are pulling it back to 4%. I'm staying back with for the higher on the end, like 10%. These numbers are getting really big. But let's say it's 5 to 10%. Who cares? It's still big. First, they'll raise your benefits up. Then they'll apply the benchmark. And that lift of your benchmark would lift your benefits next year, not just next year, but lifetime. Let's say 5 to 10%. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. Then they'll remove the asset cap, dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't stay on, 80s law that says you can't uh, stay on benefits and have more than $3,000 on hand. Now you have right room to have a stimulus check and um, some muddled blue Crayola crowns. <laughs> You'll be able to uh, look forward to the end of the income exclusion. The income exclusion will go away, and now you'll be able to work and stay on benefits. And finally, the marriage penalty is going to go away. Love is going to win, and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest and no longer fear loss of benefits. And there you go. Ro viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get married and no longer fear loss of benefits. That is Fist Stimulus. But if you're watching the video and you're wondering, how are all those people getting all that big money in the live chat? And they all have that emoji of a purple hawk next to their name. How do I get that? Go under this video and there's a button called Join Here. By joining as a Purple Hawk member, you get delivered to you daily a breakdown from me of all the big monies under third, fourth, and fifth stimulus. It's important to understand that this money is a fortune. When four third stimulus became law, people... Elsewhere, we're just focusing on the stimulus check, $1,400. But my Purple Hawks were understanding from me to focus on the $14,000 that was available for them, not $1,400. Fortunes that were application-based under third stimulus, they're still there. So I want you to get this big money. We're not cashing, we're not tracking checks. We're not looking for a stimulus check. We're cashing tens of thousands of dollars of checks. And I want you to get that as well. So consider becoming a Purple Hawk and becoming and learning about all this money you can get so you can get the money. All right, here we go. The final 15 minutes of the fourth stimulus update of 2021 starting right now. It's a biggie, and let's see if I can zoom through it. Number one, what happened to July 4th? July 4th uh, came and went because at the time Chuck and Nancy Pelosi said it, it was a different situation. Let me explain. Nancy and Chuck, uh, Chuck, Nancy and Chuck said over a thousand times that the final vote would be by July 4th. It didn't happen because at that time the total recon bill was too big. It was too big, and they pulled the Democratic caucus and said, no, we're not voting in favor of it. To which I would say, okay, but you took out the roads and bridges and did the split two Wednesdays ago. That was before 4th of July, so why not call the vote on the recon then? Because there were a series of Democrats that said, no, you have to also call the vote on the bipartisan sometime thereafter. To which I'd say, okay, fine, call the vote on the recon now. Isn't the recon done? Uh, we are got confirmation it's close to done or near done, yes. So why not call the recon for a vote now before July 4th and then call the bipartisan? partisan for a vote like in November or something. Because there was other Democrats that said, no, you have to haul the vote for the partisan close in time to the recon. How close in time? Like over a few days or the same day. Okay, to which I'd say, okay, is the bipartisan written? No. What do you mean no? Here's the problem. During the negotiations with Shelley Moore Capito in the month of June, the president for negotiating the bipartisan saw no bill from Capito. He had no bill. They had no proposal. They had nothing in writing. And then when those negotiations fell apart after a month with nothing written, then he started up with the bipartisan group. And when they got a, a, a gentleman's agreement two Wednesdays ago, they again had no bill written, written. He had no bill written. They had no bill written. No one had a bill written. They also had no proposal written either. So then I would say, well, wait a second. That was over two and a half weeks ago. That's now three, really three weeks ago. Why have you not written it since then? Mm, mm, mm. And how much of it is written? Mm. 
no excuse. Hashtag write the bill. I'll explain to you in a second how much of the bipartisan has been written, how much of the recon has been written. It's breaking news you can see for the first time on Afternoons LA. So hashtag write the bill. This is 2020 all over again. It's unacceptable. It is unacceptable. These are these are Democrats. These are conservatives. They're elected to Congress to write bills. They're not elected to flip pancakes. This is their job. They're paid salary. They are elected by us with our taxpayers to write bills. If they sit around for two, uh, two three weeks and can't get a bill written, then they shouldn't be there. Their, their job is to write a bill. So write the bill. Hashtag write the bill. Push purple power. Push purple power. Go on social media and get them to write the bill. Number two, July 15th, July 14th. No, those dates have nothing to do with fourth stimulus. Those are third stimulus. Those are checks for the children. That is third stimulus from January of 2021. We're on fourth stimulus. It has nothing to do with this video. Number three, um, what the... Uh, 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 number three, the recon. It's important to understand that the recon is now near a finality. For the first time on Afternoon's LA, I'm going to go over all the details. Released in a new publication today, it details some of the provisions, other provisions, not the only provisions. I'm going to say that a thousand times. Not the only provisions, just some of the provisions uh, that are in the fourth stimulus recon, in addition to the stimulus checks those Democrats represent. Now, let me preface this. This is from a conservative publication, and the slant of the conservative of the article was, look at all the money the Democrats are spending on stuff they shouldn't be spending on. So that was the slant of the article. That's where I'm getting the news from. So it is sort of slanted. So they're trying to to tell you the stuff they don't want you, they want, they're telling you the stuff they want you to know that they think is sort of the angle, the attitude of the article. So it's not a comprehensive article. Um, it's not, it is, it is not a, you know, it is not a bipartisan article. Um, it has free, mo free f school meals for everyone. <laughs> yeah, there'll be free school meals for everyone. Um, progressives have put in free lunch, breakfast, dinner, snacks, and more um, for kids in public school. Tax breaks, um, lots of tax breaks. Um, there is a Build Back America bond. Um, there is a New Markets tax credit. I don't want to put you to sleep, but there's a lot of tax credits in there. Cheaper prescription prices, so lower prices on prescription medication. Um, fascinating. Immigration reform. Yeah, you're going to say, really? Yeah, immigration reform is in there. A new path for citizenship for recipients of the deferred of DACA children. Um then there's greener farming. <laughs> Sir Lloyd's going to be happy. He got more stimulus again. Uh, there is something for more green farming. There's money for elections. Uh, there's closing the digital divide. Um, so free local governments to own their own internet networks. Really? Wow. Um, interesting. Uh, it just keeps on going on and on. Free. There's new money for union contracts. There's clean energy perks. Um, where you get money for recycling and you get free transportation. Uh, oh, that's funny. There's an advertisement in the middle of this article and it said free Britney. I thought, oh, they put free Britney. <laughs> they put free Britney into the force of us we got. Yeah, that would have been wonderful. There's a free Britney uh, add on. It's the, no, it's just an advertisement in the middle of the article. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if Joe Banchin would support Free Britney. <laughs> There's worker protections of the Fort Stimulus Rica. I mean, it's right here. It's like, it's like I almost, I almost read it. Oh, boy, it's one of those things. Uh, There's worker protections in there. Uh, yeah, Nancy Pelosi is doing the Slay for You. It's the Joe Biden um, theme song. Uh, <laughs> worker protections. There's money in there for worker protections. There's Medicare expansion. Again, there was medical expansion, Medicare expansion on the other page as well. So there's a lot of items in there. Um, next, the... How about the uh, conservatives? I have an article here, if I can find it, that basically says what's going on with the recon. Excuse me, what's going on with the bipartisan? Because people were asking about how far has the bipartisan been written now that you really know it's an issue. And Jerry Moran, who is a, uh, who is a, a GOP member and actually a supporter, he was part of the bipartisan group, he is one of 11 Democrats, oh, 11 Republicans who supported the bipartisan. He is not happy and hasn't been written. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the details, this is his quote, the details from today. Uh, oh, actually, um, no, this is his quote. Um, he wants to see it done. Then Rounds says, we don't know what's in there yet. Another member of the group. I'm favorably impressed with what has been done, but we're going to have to wait and see the lo final thing. So long, there's a lot of negotiations going, still going on negotiations still going on. They haven't written it. 
Uh, then we have John Thume says the details will matter. I think a lot of our members, GOP, are looking at how credible are the pay force, how large is this. For our members, it's really going to come down to whether it's all put into debt. Um, so do I like that? No. I, it's, it's not particularly good news when we look at the, the – and this is on a conservative publication – on a conservative publication where it said conservatives are still uneasy about the bipartisan, it hasn't been finally written. They want to see it written as you and I want to see it written. And they they like it so far, but they don't see the details yet. This is why you have to write things. People people don't you know agree to things unless it's written. Um, so there you go. Uh, there was so much else that I wanted to go through, but I think I got it for now. For now, it's important to understand that the four stimulus recon, um, monthly stimulus checks, there's a series of new articles today that say they're trying to try envision them going automatic. Um, the issues are that the recon, the article today claims, will be unveiled to the American people later this week. And here's another thing I was going to tell you, which I forgot to mention, is that the president has given it a new name. <laughs> Again, I just it's just every day there's a new name for this. It was called the infrastructure thing. Then it was called the the jobs plan. The new one is called Build Back Build Back Better BBB uh, Triple B. You know, I just so if you're getting confused with all these names, yeah, I just called four stimulus. It's just easier. <clears throat> the president will have a different name by tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow will be called another name. So go around one more time. Range of options, range of names. We'll just change the name every day. Yeah, no, uh, changing a name doesn't change our position. We need it. And I need you to go on social media and push Purple Power. I want you to understand that you have to stay positive. You have to stay focused. You have to keep on pushing. Call up your Democratic senators. Call up your progressives. Call up your members of Congress. Social media pushing. Not a single day, not a single hour should go by without you calling up your senators saying, we need it. Not asking where it is, when am I getting it, but where, but saying we need it. I need it because push purple power, push with your Democrats, because remember, legislators can add things in, as you just saw already there, you know, meals for children. You never heard that ever on this channel until right today. They could add things in because people are pushing for it. And if you push for something, they can add it in there. If they're uneasy about putting it in there, or they took it out or they put it back in there, you can push to get it, put it back in. Every time you push, it works. Don't be a donut guy. Don't hold up a donut and say, when is it in my check? When am I getting the bill? When am I getting the, when am I, when is the vote? When is this? You need to be pushing. Push Purple Power because ultimately it will get us all over the finish line. And with that, I look forward to seeing you next on Evening Tale Light. It's a big broadcast. I see how I nearly got all this done within the confines of this video. Um, on Evening Tale Light, I'll go over more about this monthly stimulus check. I'll go over more about what is in this recon. I'll be going over more about why the bipartisan seems to continually stall at every edge of the, of the push and why it's important to get that bipartisan written. I'll be going over it more about these dates. Remember, um, Chuck Schumer last Friday said that he has ordered, uh, that he has instructed members of his Senate to stay in town and not go home until this is done. Uh, this is not a novelty because I had said to you over the last few weeks that the president, the speaker of the House, and the leader of the Senate have the authority to order any member of Congress back in the session to vote. But what Schumer did went, went a little bit further, so I like it. He didn't say, I'm ordering you back in town to vote. He says, I'm, I encourage you to stay in town and not leave because we need to get this done. But it's not particularly a lot of details to it. It's sort of a vague sentence. So I'd like him to come out with something a little more definitive, saying, hey, you're not going home, period, unless X, Y, and Z. But it is a step in the right direction. I'll have more about that on Evenings L8. So with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. I want you to hit that subscribe button because every subscriber helps. The stronger the community, the more positive the community, and the stronger the push that we get over the first line together. Like the video, two, three thousand likes. Every like helps. It also delivers a side of pineapple. And consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP, so you learn about all the big money that's available for you in this fourth stimulus, third stimulus, and fifth stimulus. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.